Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we're going to use REPLIT in this class. Alright, let's get going. So this right here is what I want. I want one REPL with many, many Python files, and I want to be able to run any of these files at any time, and review any of these files at any time. Programming is all the time all about going back to what you've done in the past and reviewing what you did. So by default, REPLIT will run the main.py file. So I run it here, hello everyone, it prints out hello everyone. If I want to add a new file, I click on add file and then I'll put in the name of my new file. Be sure you put the .py at the end. So here I've named it 006 underscore variables .py. .py is super important. So I'm just making a regular program with variables doing some math. But when I run it, it runs main .py again. What's going on? Well, so to make it run my new file, I need to do this first. I'm going to open up these three dots and I'm going to click show hidden files. It's going to show me my .replit file, which was there always, but was hidden before. I'm going to edit this entry point, and where it says main.py instead, I'm going to put the name of my Python file. And now when I run it, I'm running the 006 underscore variables .py file. As I write more codes in this course, here I'm just repeating this process over and over again, you'll see I end up with a lot of files. I can switch between the files by editing my .replit. And as far as why I want to do this, it's because all the time in programming, you're going back to what you did before, and this makes it very easy for me to see what I did before. Last thing I just want to remind you about is that every time you log on to Replit, you will need to show the hidden files. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.